Hey guys, Steven here, and welcome to my Redstone Logic World, a place where you can find all your Redstone Logic gates in the one map. Um, it's a downloadable map like always, so just check it out in the description if you want to learn some Redstone stuff. Um, today though, it's going to be a short video, we're just looking at the inverter. It's really the simplest gate in electronics, and it's so easy to build in Minecraft, so we just build it first. All it is is a block, and a Redstone torch like so. And coming from the Redstone torch is the output and going into the block is the input and that's it so now that we've built it what does an inverter do basically what an inverter does is whatever the input is the output's always going to be the opposite and we can just see that on the truth table blue's always the inputs and green's always the outputs so here we'll just test it on the logic gate itself the input is off and the output is on now if I flick the switch the input is on and the output is off. What we've shown here, it's just the horizontal inverted design. There's also a vertical design. Um, the way it works, same principle, you just feed the input into the block, then the redstone torch transmits that output to the top here, and I've just fed it down so it's easier to see. Um, so at the moment, we can always see it works exactly the same. The input's always opposite to the output. Um, but this vertical design, it also makes great for just transmitting power in a compact vertical space. One thing to keep in mind though when you're doing that is if you invert a signal twice, and we can see it like so. I'll just use my color code so it's easy for you guys to see. If you've inverted a signal twice, it's going to be the exact same as what the original signal is. So we can see here that they're both the same and if I turn it on it's going to be on so that's something to keep in mind um, and yeah that's everything um, so where would you use an inverter basically we just use an inverter just say you want a piston a simple door so it's usually closed we'll just make it like that and we'll connect a button here so we usually can't walk through this space like so but now when you press the button you can quickly walk through and you'll get through and it'll just close on behind you so you can expand that make it a bit more complicated if you like but that's just one scenario where you can use an inverter there's so many you'll use it in mob spawners for sure just to cut them off um, there's so many things just yeah test it out you'll see where you have to apply it whenever you need the input to be have the opposite output that's when you use it um, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful I'm going to be doing them on all the logic gates. Um, if you've got any questions, just send me a message or just a, even post it in the comment. I'll make sure I'll get to you. I really want to help everyone out. Um, and yeah, that's everything. Have a good one, guys. Welcome to my Redstone mini game called Russian Roulette. It plays just like the classical Russian Roulette. If you don't know what that is, basically it's a betting game where two players go head to head.